Good morning, New Mexico. Good morning, everybody out there serving the Lord. And I hope this little devotional helped you this morning. We're going to look into forgiveness. And i got to be honest, <laughs> it's one of the hardest things to truly, truly do from your heart. And in Luke's Gospel, chapter 23, starting at verse 34, these famous words of our Lord and Saviour. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garments and cast lots, and the people stood looking on, but even the rulers with them sneered, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Christ, the chosen of God. The soldiers also mocked, coming and offering him sour wine, and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. You know, I, oh, I mean, can you imagine being the Lord nailed to the cross, everything you have just gone through, and you're hanging there, and, and forgiveness is, is a heart condition. Forgiveness needs to flow from the heart. And, and Jesus is there and he's like, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And he says this, amazingly, before the people mock him, before he's taunted, before he's sneered at. And, and Jesus, he doesn't wait for an apology. He's hanging there and he, 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 he offers forgiveness to these people. I mean, that's incredible. I mean, does that mean like before I go out of my, my house today that I am to pray, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. The people who are going to offend me or, or harm me as I leave, before I've gone out, I've got that mindset, I am going to forgive. And, and I always find, you know, I, I, do, I never want to talk about forgiveness in a flippant way because it's never easy to truly forgive. And, and Jesus, yeah, so we, we, get the, we get it up here, yes, I have to forgive. And as we determine to forgive, it trickles down to our heart so we can give, forgive from the heart. And I think Jesus as well, he forgives first. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And that so that Satan cannot get to get their foothold on him in the final throes of death. And he's about to die. Jesus has already released these people into God the Father's hands. Those who have harmed you, made you suffer, caused you pain. By forgiving them, you're placing them into God the Father's hands for him to deal with them. So you release yourself from resentment and from bitterness that unforgiveness can cause. And so by releasing yourself from unforgiveness and bitterness and resentment, what happens is the devil can't get a foothold. He can't get at you because you are forgiven. And Jesus, he truly is full of love for these people. He sees the sin that he is about to die for working in and through these people. And so he forgives first. Now, the, the, now the hard thing, okay. Whew. The hard thing about forgiveness is we sometimes have to live with the consequences of what another person has done. I'll say it again. The hard thing about forgiveness is we sometimes have to live with the consequences of what another person has done. Whether we like it or not, and very often we don't like it. And it frustrates, it makes us angry, it makes us cry, it makes us suffer. We, 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 we feel that pain. 
And so what we have to do in that situation is, okay, I accept what this person has done. And I give you, Father, this person. I give you their actions. And I give you how they made me feel. You know, very often our emotions are a barometer um, that, that indicate what's going on inside of us. So by giving the Lord the anger, by giving him the resentment and the bitterness, we are freeing our hearts so that we are not bound to that person. We're not bound to what was done. Yes, we see the consequences. But the difference is now is you're standing there in Jesus. I have to make a choice every day in my in my Christian walk to, to forgive or to hold on to unforgiveness. And when I hold on to unforgiveness, I get bitter and I say bitter things to other people and to myself. And, and I keep myself in a little cave, a little prison. But when I forgive and I say, yes, Lord, this happened and I forgive. Yes, Lord, I felt like this. I forgive. Lord, I can only do this in your strength. I can only forgive by being in Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, that you will help me to forgive. And we choose to forgive. And we keep our eyes on the Lord. And we say, Lord, come into this situation. You know, my heart really breaks when I, when I see like a murder on TV. And the TV reporter goes up to the, say, to the mother whose son's just been shot or stabbed. And they say, and they know they're a Christian, and say, will you forgive? Well, yes, she will. But sometimes forgiveness takes a bit of time. Sometimes you've got to let sink in what has really happened. Uh, and come to terms with what has happened and accept with what has happened. And then you can give that to the Lord. Um, that he's with you right the way through it. What, what, whatever they do to you as a Christian, they're doing to the Lord Jesus Christ. We, you know, and sometimes when we struggle not to forgive, we have to remember what Christ went through on that cross and his sufferings for us. And ask him for his love to come into our hearts. And we are not saying what they did was right. When a young girl is badly raped and is pregnant, what happened there was wrong and it was evil and it was not right. That young girl has to look at that baby, at that child, at that teenager, at that adult and knows that was the product of rape but she can choose to be bitter or to be free and she can choose to see good come out of a very 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 dark situation and she can allow love to set her free and it happens when we wrestle and when we struggle with this area of forgiveness to truly walk on a path of forgiveness is not easy but as the lord works in our hearts as we become more like christ we we have an insight a very small insight into his suffering in the area of, of, of forgiveness and forgiving. So may we make the right choice and forgive and release so that we may go free. Even if it's every day, Father, I forgive them. I praise you, you will deal with that person. I praise you, Lord, you have got me. I praise you, Lord, you felt my pain in that situation. So may the Lord give you grace, may he give you strength so that you may forgive and that you may go free and not live with this 
It's a vomit of bitterness. It's so vile and disgusting. It, it ruins our lives. But Christ sets us free. He sets us free to follow him. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, it's not easy to forgive when we've been wounded so deeply. And for some of us, Lord, we struggle with forgiveness every single day of our lives. But Lord, don't let the enemy triumph. Don't let bitterness grow its root. But Lord, we forgive. We give you what the, that person has done. We give you how they made us feel. And we ask for your love to fill our hearts, to heal our wounds, and to give us grace, mercy, and power to walk in the loving footsteps of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, what was done was wrong and was evil to us, but you are good. Fill us with your love, we pray. Amen. <clears throat> May God bless you and continue to work in your hearts as he sets captives free.